All eyes were on Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge when she arrived at the London premiere of the latest James Bond installment, in a stunning sparkling gown alongside Prince William. The Duchess of Cambridge sparkled as she and Prince William joined Daniel Craig for the world premiere of No Time to Die at the Royal Albert Hall. For the event, Catherine dazzled into a fully embellished gold sequin gown from Jenny Packham. Prince William chose a classic black tuxedo with a bow tie. Catherine's Jenny Packham gown was gold, head to toe, making her look almost like a Bond girl herself. The cape and textured updo also channeled another fictional character, Queen Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. The stunning gold gown is from Jenny Packham's 007 capsule collection in collaboration with Ian Productions, the company behind the James Bond movies. Inspired by Goldfinger, the piece features tonal gold sequins, beads and glitter detailing plus crystal embellishments. It has a plunging V neckline and a long, floaty cape, which is usually priced at 2,800 British pounds. The Duchess of Cambridge's dress differs slightly from the off-the-rack version. While both are embellished on the shoulders with golden sequins and glitter, the Duchess's has added beads and crystals. The ready-to-wear version has oversized gold sequins and no crystals beading. It's a stunning gown and we're sure this will go down in fashion history as one of the Duchess' most iconic looks. For the No Time to Die premiere, Catherine opted for tonal accessories. She paired her gold gown with gold earrings, a yellow gold cocktail ring and glittery gold shoes. Catherine teamed her dress with bespoke 290 British pounds on it earrings, which were made in Pakistan by the South Asian luxury couture label. Onida is a London-based boutique that stocks South Asian couture. Onida confirmed the earrings were bespoke, sourced and created for the Duchess of Cambridge. They're gold-plated and featured on cut crystal stones. We first spotted Catherine wearing the spectacular earrings during a reception at the Pakistan National Monument in 2019. Catherine brought back her yellow rectangular-shaped gemstone ring for the premiere. This is a mystery piece, which she's owned for over a decade. The Duchess wore a pair of glittering gold pointy shoes by Aquasira. They're the Fenix 105 style in gold and Napa leather. The metallic leather has a mosaic-like effect, which catches the light and makes the shoe glisten. However, it's the cutout detailing that makes these shoes a real showstopper. Iconic on its own, Catherine's gold floor sweeping dress also bore a striking similarity to a Princess Diana outfit from the premiere of A View to Kill, the James Bond film that premiered in 1985. Princess Diana chose a metallic silver gown for her Bond girl appearance. Designed by Bruce Oldfield, it boasted a similar plunging neckline to Catherine's light catching gown, long sleeves, and a totally open back. Catherine has been a fan of the designer's signature feminine, embellished designs ever since her early days as a royal. It was Jenny Packham she chose to wear for her first ever black tie appearance as a royal making headlines in a blush pink sequin and jewel encrusted gown by the designer for a charity gala dinner in London in 2011. A stunning blue lace back gown in New York City in 2014. She's worn a blue sheath dress at Armistice Day in 2018. And a turquoise gown to the Tusk Conservation Awards in 2018. More recently she stuns in green Jenny Packham gown on Jamaica tour in 2022. It appears Catherine and the British designer are truly a match made in red carpet heaven. Thank you for watching videos. If you like our videos, please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour. Your support is a motivation for us to produce better videos. If you have any requests for news, please comment below the videos for us. See you in the next videos.